Hey guys, Ty Bryson here, and so far I started investing with around seven dollars, and right now my portfolio is almost around forty thousand dollars, which is a lot more than seven dollars. And in this video right here, I'm gonna show you exactly how much money I've lost or how much money I actually made. Now the entire idea is this, guys. Okay, while everything has been going on right now, well, guess what? A lot of people have lost between 20 to 60% of all their money. And the idea is my portfolio is set up in a way so I don't really lose any money or as much money as the average person does. And that's why I haven't really experienced any major losses. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I invest into, my losses or gains, and every single detail about my portfolio. So if you're just going to start it, I started with seven dollars so you can do the same okay so there's no need to like have a ton of money it's fine you can start with like zero it doesn't matter okay now the very first thing is this guys I do upload videos every single day so subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video and on top of that also destroy the like button but please just do it gently it helps a lot so thank you guys so much I really appreciate that now the first thing is this guys I have around forty thousand dollars in total in investments and I spread it across four different platforms okay so those platforms are SoFi, Acorns, Robinhood and also the Cash App and on top of that I'm also testing Weeble and I'm also trying to build up a 401k and also a Roth IRA but that is going to be for a future video so without further ado here is the first investment platform and exactly how much money I have inside of it but the most money platform that I do have is going to be towards the end of the video and that's the one I started with seven dollars so you want to stick around to watch to see exactly how I started out with seven dollars and now I have over forty thousand dollars invested okay which is pretty cool if you ask me now the very first one is actually SoFi now the reason I use SoFi money to actually invest money is because I also have the debit card and on top of that sometimes whenever you're investing into stocks you want to buy stock right then and there but then you have to transfer money over and then that might take one day and before you know it something has happened but with SoFi since I have the debit card and I have money in my debit card I can instantly instantly transfer money over to my investment portion of the entire app and buy whatever company I want to buy right then and there right quickly and that's what I like about it and on top of that if I want to buy for example some Apple stock and I don't have $200 I can buy $10 worth $5 worth and that's really how I started with like seven bucks okay I started out just like that buying fractional shares and that's what I did so with my SoFi app guys so far I've invested around seven thousand six hundred dollars and I've only really bought for example two ETFs here and also one company and that company is actually Delta now I invest into VNQ which is basically a diversified ETF of real estate holdings and I also invest into VEA which is basically an ETF that also can controls you know companies that are not within the US and are actually in Europe and also Japan and this way my money is diversified and not only dependable on the US economy because I love America but I also love my money and I want to make sure my money is fine so I also want some diversification and I also have Delta okay now with VNQ I have 14 shares with VEA I have 54 shares and with Delta I have 207 shares however guys with my seven thousand six hundred dollar investments so far I've gained around three hundred and fifty one dollars and fifty two cents so in reality I'm not yet losing money now the idea is guys when it comes to Delta Warren Buffett also said that hey I sold all of my investments into airline stock because again the entire company's fundamentals have changed now tell me what exactly does that mean it means that for example if you're going to invest into a company and they make a certain amount of money and they spend a certain amount of money and you're like okay I'm gonna invest this money right here because it makes financial sense right however okay now that everything is going on right now most airlines are going to have to borrow around 10 billion dollars which means that although they spend a certain amount of money and they make a certain amount of money well that money is going to go down because not as many people are flying and on top of that they're also going to have to pay back that 10 billion dollars which also means that's going to cut into their profit margins and that's also why Warren Buffett sold but what I believe is this I'm buying at such a massive discount that in 10 years or five years my profits are going to be insane and again I only really buy companies like to hold like forever usually I only sell if it's obvious like hey maybe I made a mistake 
maybe it's time to sell because all these industries are actually going bankrupt. It happens sometimes, okay? If you were going to invest, for example, into Blackbuster, like the worst thing you could probably do is hold on to that company because that industry is obsolete and also extinct, okay? That is what I mean, and that's the only time wherever I actually sell. But I do want to point something out, guys, okay? I'm not an optimist. I base my beliefs based on facts in history, but I also want you guys to know, guys, that the worst thing that can happen is the stock market can close down for up to four months like it did a long time ago. It's happened in the past. And on top of that, sometimes the stock market might go, for example, 20 years, and you might not make any of your money back until it goes right back to normal so if you're not going to be in it for the long term you have to understand the risk so that's why although I have a lot of money invested I also have a lot of money in cash for other investments that might pop up because again I don't want to rely on anyone now the second application that I use to invest is actually the cash app now tell me why do you use the cash app again I love the cash app because you can buy it right then and there. And on top of that, whenever you invest into fractional shares, you don't need to wait. Whenever you buy, you buy right then and there for that price. Because sometimes with other companies, you have to like make the order and then wait like hours for them to actually have a trading window and then actually buy that investment. But at that point, you don't really know the price you're actually buying for. So that kind of sucks. But with the cash shop, you buy right then and there. And right here, I only have two companies I'm holding, and that is the S&P 500 um, by Vanguard, VOO, that's the ticker symbol. And I invested around $2,400 into this company. And on top of that, I also have Apple, which I invested around $4, okay? Now tell me, why do you have $4 with Apple? The answer is I just invested that money to test out the app back when I was making the review about it, okay? That's the only reason. But the answer is, with my $2,404 investment, so far I've gained around $357.44, okay? The answer is, when I invest, for example, into the S&P 500, my goal is always to hold for a very, very, very long time. But since I bought when it was crashing, like at the lowest point, well, right now, I'm also gaining a lot of money also. And that's why I'm still making money while a lot of people out there are basically losing money because they only bought when the stocks were going, oh my gosh, it's so good, but they don't really buy when it's going down because they don't really believe in those companies whatsoever, okay? That is the idea. And this reminds me, guys, when I was in college, I was also investing into stocks back then. And my professor told me, Tommy, don't buy Apple because it's too expensive right now and it won't go up anymore. And I was like, bro, like, what are you talking about? You know, my financials made sense, but sometimes you might listen to someone because they're like older than you or something like that. Always listen to sound facts, your facts, the research that you actually did. Don't listen to people. Listen to the facts you actually did, and this way you come to your very own conclusion, okay? That is the best thing to do when it comes to investing. So in the end, guys, don't listen to me with what I invest into. Just do research and learn more and learn more, and then eventually you'll understand exactly why I invest the way I invest, okay? If you wanna get started, I recommend The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham, and also The Little Book About Investing by John C. Bogle. It's a great book about ETFs and also index funds and why they're so great and amazing. Now, on top of that, I also do have money invested with Robinhood, and that is equal to around $6,225, and so far, I've actually gained around $742. So not that bad at all, if you ask me. That's around 13% up, while most people out there are still losing money. Now, I only really have like five solid investments in here that I actually made. Everything else is whenever you guys sign up with my link down below, you guys get one stock and I also get one stock and I don't really sell them that often, but I will start selling them right now because basically they're making me some money. Well, some of them are making me some money, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So basically guys, my main investments with Robinhood are VOO, which is the S&P 500 companies, and I own around 12 shares. Also, VB, which is basically small cap companies, and I have around 12 shares there. Also, Shy, which is treasury bonds, which is pretty cool. On top of that, I have 11 shares there. And also, LQD, which is corporate bonds, I have eight shares there. And also, VWO, 
12 shares and overall here I've gained around maybe let's say like um like $500 like easily from all these investors right here like $400 easily the idea is you know what I do is I invest into ETFs also corporate bonds and also T bills okay the entire idea is that what I'm looking for is diversification if you guys notice here so far I've only mentioned one company I invested into and that company is Delta no other company I'm working on building a portfolio of like you know different stocks and stuff like that like individual stocks however my main core investments are ETFs they're simple to manage and this way they're well diversified and you don't have to worry about like oh my gosh the market just sank down oh my gosh everything is going to like die no 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 I don't care about that because in reality I'm investing into 500 a thousand different companies and this way my money is diversified and on top of that I also have bonds, right? And I also have T-bill. So whenever the stock market goes down, usually these go up. So it's kind of like a balance of like, you know, like, okay, this goes up, this goes down. The entire idea is that what I want is balance and also consistent gains. And this is why I invest the way I actually invest. And now guys, lastly, I actually have acorns. And in acorns, I have invested around $23,172. And that is pretty cool if you ask me because with acorns, this is the first app I actually started using and I started out with seven dollars and ever since then I kept investing every single month and so far I built it up to this much money by the way link down below when you sign up with my league at five bucks and this way you get started the same exact way I started out just keep investing step by step and step by step your money will keep growing okay if you're investing for the long run on top of that as you guys can see right here I'm up around 2.91 percent and that is around six hundred and fifty five dollars now you might ask Tommy how is it possible that you have for example with Robin Hood like six thousand dollars but gain seven hundred but with the with acorns you have like you know twenty three thousand dollars and you only gain like six hundred the answer is okay since I've been investing with acorns for a very long time I also bought investments when they were pretty high also right that's the entire point point. and when they went back down I should be down right now by like 20% or like 15% or so but because I keep buying and buying and buying more and the price goes back up in reality it offsets all my losses which then makes me actually have a profit so if you guys want to see a full video of what I invest with acorns and the percentage and everything I have a full video down below check that out it helped me out a lot when I first started out so hopefully it helps you also but the entire idea is guys overall so far I have invested around thirty nine thousand five hundred and three dollars and seven cents and on top of that my total profit is around two thousand one hundred and forty one dollars and eighty seven cents which is equal to around a five percent gain while most people out there are losing a ton of money the entire idea with my investments is what I want is diversification and whenever the market is going down I'm usually buying a lot more so in this video I said I lost some money I kind of did but because I keep investing more and more I kind of just gain all my money right back and that is the idea but again I only invest for the long run so that money I'm not going to need it for the next like 10 20 years and that is the idea with me if you want to do the same thing guys all the links down below to all the apps I use and also when you sign up for sofa you get $75 when you sign up for Robinhood you get a free stock when you sign up with Webull you also get two free stocks we sign up with acorns you also get like five bucks but if you just want to get started okay I recommend just starting with acorns and investing over time and that's what I did and then you can start investing with other apps if you want to but overall acorns has been pretty solid for me okay that's what I recommend comment down below guys and let me know what do you think and what are you investing into and do you think investing into Delta is a bad idea comment down below let me know and as always I'll see you guys next time same for watching and as always like this video start the channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video on top of that follow me on Instagram Ty Bryson and I also have a brand new channel link down below where I upload there also every single day so check that out and let me know what you guys think also now before I go if you want to watch another video on that acorn to how I started out watch this video right here also my face right here right now I'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching and as always peace